I'm Ian Eric Stewart. I'm a neuroscience PhD student at the Max Delbruck Centrum in Berlin, and I'm an executive member at Edge Neuroscience Art, EFAO. I wasn't around when the Berlin Wall came down, but I've seen a few come up, and I think it's very important that they fall down again. Actually, I wanted to be an astronaut, uh, but that's always a tiny chance. Then I thought I'd be a doctor, and now I'm a neuroscientist and a science artist. I think I always wanted to do something on the fringes of knowledge, but that's benefiting society. And I'm quite happy I think I'm doing that now. At EDGE, we're breaking the wall between neuroscience and art. As neuroscience progresses, it throws up new ideas and dives deep into who we are and what makes us tick. And art gives us a way to conceptualize this new knowledge, think about its implications, and integrate it into society. And then when we're doing that, we can break the wall between neuroscience and the public, which is the wall of the ivory tower. Because as neuroscience progresses, it affects society more and more, but becomes more complex. At EDGE, we're working on building bridges across gaps in background knowledge and expertise so that we can have conversations with everyone about neuroscience and its implications. Well, we as an art collective decided to focus on neuroscience as a humanist branch of science. And we decided to strive for a deep integration of scientists, of active researchers, and of artists to foster long-term interactions between these two communities. And what we found was that there were a lot of scientists, active researchers, who wanted to develop and exhibit their creative artistic ideas about their research with us. We thought we'd be connecting artists and scientists, and the overlap between art and science was in the middle. But what we found was we were helping artists develop into scientists and scientists develop into artists. The conversations about what new findings might mean should not involve just the scientists. We invite the public in to experience science and the findings in an open and interactive way. And they come away with a real appreciation and understanding of the scientific process. So we're enriching public knowledge and we're also humanizing science. Edge is built around the idea of a feedback system where art and science as fields when integrated, benefit each other, and then can be connected with the public. So we've managed to achieve a lot of that, but what we are after is a change and a benefit of the scientific process and hypothesis formation, integrating the artistic practice. But without a way to measure creativity or artistry in science, we can never know for sure just how much the art is benefiting the science. But I do know that the scientists who work with us at EDGE are exhibiting their art not just as a presentation of their results, but there's much more. And that's why I can get to sleep at night.